Welcome to another edition of Matthew's Company Tech Tip Videos. In this video, we're going to take a look at checking a motor for uh, potential electrical faults. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. And I just want to walk you through using tools that hopefully you have um, on your truck or available to you readily. The first one we're going to talk about is just a basic ohm meter. So we're going to take and check this motor for electrical damage using the ohm setting right here. We're going to make sure our leads are, are uh, plugged in securely and then we're going to check and make sure that it is actually reading. So we have continuity, the leads are plugged in correctly and we're on ohms. So we're going to check the motor for continuity. First check we're going to do is we're going to check the windings of the motor internally and we're going to check from phase to phase. So from one phase to another and we should get a reading We've got 0.5 ohms, and what we're looking for across these guys is we want them to be uh, virtually the same. We have to be a little bit fussy here and checking all three. And in, in this case, you can see that they're all 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is a good reading, and they're all the same, and uh, that would tell me that this, this particular motor is good. The other check we'll do quickly is just with an ohmmeter, We'll check from ground to see if we have any shorts to ground on any of these wires here. This one is open, this one is open, and this one is open. And that, uh, with an ohm meter, is a, just a quick check. And it uh, doesn't necessarily tell us that the motor is good yet, but it's a good, uh, a good first check. So that would be it for the ohm meter, and that's about as far as we can go with that. So take, going a little bit further, um, We'll go to, this is a megameter. And this is kind of a basic but simple to use megameter. It's got lights on it. And the lights on it will tell us whether the insulation value uh, reading is bad up at the top here, or it'll work its way down and tell us all the way that it's good. So I'm gonna hook this up to this motor here and we're gonna press the button. I'll show you what happens. So we're gonna take one lead and we're gonna hook that to the ground. And this could be on the chassis of the dryer, this could be here, or it could be, if you have a ground wire available, that's, that's great, but not necessary. This could coincidentally be done right on the bottom leads of a contactor. So here we go, we're gonna press it and check the insulation, make sure these other two wires are clear and not check, touching anything. Notice that it starts at the, uh, up in the bad area and it works its way all the way down and goes out, that is a good reading. So right here, it's above 1,000 meg or meg ohms. So the insulation value of this motor is very good. So let's check in on the second phase and perform the same test. Also good, it works its way all the way down. That's a good reading. That's what good looks like. Do the third one, make sure nobody's touching. Coincidentally, you don't want to be touching this either because it's about 500 volts that's going through there. So with this, with the uh, easy to use and inexpensive version of a megameter, this all tests good. Now I'm gonna go uh, one step farther and I'm gonna use a Fluke insulation tester. This is gonna put a thousand volts onto the insulation and really look for anything that would stand out. So I'm going to turn this meter on. I'm going to clip on to the ground in one of the phases. Again, making sure nothing is touching. We will put it to the insulation testing area and I'm going to press insulation test. This is now applying 1049 volts and we have a reading of 2.2 gig ohms, which is very good insulation value. So the insulation is held up well here. We'll try it now with the second phase. Again, applying 1,049 volts, and that one is also 2.2 gig ohms, which is uh, very good. And the third one, we're gonna press that, and that is also 2.2 gig ohms. If we had a problem, it would show up either here and be at 20 meg ohms or less to ground, and that would show up there, or it would show up here on a low reading in meg ohms, not gig ohms. So in your motors, as you're looking for these, you could also look 
and do a, just a physical inspection. Make sure these connections all look like they're fully insulated here. And also just do a quick check where the motor uh, leads go into the motor without getting uh, too carried away. But uh, a physical inspection here and a megameter or insulation tester should tell you whether the motor is good or bad. And thank you for being with us today in Matthew's Tech Tip videos.